Oh, I hate Beauty and the Beast with a fucking passion. Which version? Just so we're clear. All of them. You gotta admit though that uh, that 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 uh, that Stitch cameo that they put in recently, that was kind of funny. I didn't see the new movie. It wasn't even the movie. It was just some some clip. I think Disney may have put it out or something. They just they they just added a little tiny scene where Stitch crashes into the crashes into the movie and ruins a, ruins a moment. That was for the. For the marketing for Lilo and Stitch. Really? I did not know this. It's good to know. You know, it I still haven't watched that movie. I need to one of these days. I actually uh, got the DVD for 25 cents. Uh, I should watch it one of these days. Same with Wreck-It Ralph. I never... I still haven't watched it. And I got it ages ago. I plan to do it sometime this summer when I'm not drowning in homework. Testarossa Automatic transmission Outrun mode Flashwave. Get ready. Let's go. David, go with the fucking slot. There we go. Yeah, I might as well play some Final Fantasy XII for International Zodiac. Oh, hey. Who's talking about addictions again? Who said anything about addictions? I'm actually playing it for the story because I actually like the story of 12. And I haven't really been playing it much. Um, I haven't been playing it much. I've been busy with it's other time things. I've heard you mention it this week alone. Uh, funny, because I only started playing it two days ago. Where the hell's the control? Because I finally got it to work. The patch I had was broken. So I found a new patch. No, you, you heard me talk about it because I wanted it to play it. And I was trying to find a new patch that wasn't broken. And now that I found it... Oh. Damn it, now I gotta reset the PlayStation. I forgot. You can't have the tray open when I load the when I load that. Ugh. Yeah, I soft modded my PlayStation. To do awesome. what? To be able to play burned copies of games. Cool, cool. Because, yeah, I'm poor. <laughs> Dude, I don't blame you. That's why, I'm, that, that's why I soft modded my Xbox. Not so I much for 360. A... I, I still haven't Check done that yet. What? I would not do it to a 360 ever. Why not? Because it's internet connected. Hey, Reese, is this room right below us? Reese is pieces the room where you stream um that's the one that red made for me yeah i was trying in vain to set myself up to be in both rooms at the same time but no you um, can't it, it's impossible i've tried forgot to fix that when i made it there you go <laughs> it's all right <laughs> i just thought it was funny to type reese's pieces for for a second ago, there, I made you a room. Mmm, <laughs> you want some of my Reese's Pieces? <laughs> no! <laughs> you now want your Reese's Pieces. 
Checkpoint. How far are you going to take me? Magically traditious. What do we need to always ask? Where did you get this picture from, Reese? Uh, which one? The one that you use ma mainly for your like your Twitter, uh, for dis Discord right now. Oh, the like the avatar. Okay. Um, hang yeah. on. S since I am technically streaming right now, just uh, go onto my stream. I'll put up the picture real quick. I'm actually proud of this one. <clears throat> By the way, I'm streaming Outrun, uh, Outrun 2 Special Edition. Uh, where's that? Where's that? Personal files. Vitals. Da, 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 da. Now, for those that see that uh, that that see my my twitch page and my uh and and my my twitter and my face butts you may have you may have seen this particular picture that's that is my avatar and if you look real closely it says mighty mo but what the hell is mighty mo i'm going to show you <laughs> as soon as i can get to my dropbox because that's where i put all the all the stuff at images Set. Why, why settle for less when you can have Mo? Introducing Mighty Mo, the ready-to-go modem that turns your Commodore 64 into a telecommunications giant. <laughs> Behold the power of Commodore dial-up. Of course, it's... On a what? 28.8K modem? Uh... I don't know. The only know I, I don't think it was a 56K modem. No. This ain't even 28K. Wow. Shit, it was 14.4? I think. It, it might have been less than that. It, the, only, the only number I'm really seeing here is... 1650 and I'm, I'm like that can't be right is that is that 1.6k it's probably slower than that Jeez. gives you access to 12, pa 12 pages of memory 24,000 bytes wow well this is an early modem what do you, uh, what do you two expecting? megabytes or no kilobytes, I mean, two kilobytes. Kilo, yeah, that's <laughs> oof. That's <laughs> early internet. Yeah, of course. That's the type where you put that little handset on the on the on the rotary phone into the, into those <laughs> little into those little uh, those little phone phone cups, and then you let your computer dial for you. And the modem that we had, we didn't have this one, but the modem that we did have for the Commodore, it had its internal speaker, so we just spoke into our Commodore, and the other person could hear us. It actually let us dial landlines. I thought that was kind of funny. A couple of other, uh, a couple of other little pictures here. Thanks to CompuServe CB Simulator, Digital Fox accessed Dada Hari and proceeded to an altered state. Yeah. There is nothing more pathetic than this. <laughs> the mother in law is going to be like, You're getting married to your computer? What? <laughs> Dude, there have been people who got married to all sorts of objects. This is not, this is not impossible. <laughs> well, now, but this was 1982. Last night we exchanged letters with Bomb and had a party for 11 people in nine different states and only had to wash one glass.
We unleash the music in you. You turn your Commodore into a keyboard. I think Jer would have loved this. In fact, if we ever have a, uh, if we ever have another meetup where Jer can actually come to the states, I'm gonna see if I can't get this this keyboard overlay to go on top of the the Commodore. If it ain't just to have an excuse to bring the Commodore with me. couple of ads for Electronic Arts back when they actually made good games. And in a, way they, in a way, they still kind of make good games here and there, but uh, people think of them as the big Satan nowadays. Well they're, well, they're one of the companies that do stupid things with the games that they shouldn't be doing. But back in the day, holy shit, they, they actually did push the envelope for creativity. We had things like, th there's the obvious sports title, there's uh, Jordan versus Bird one-on-one. -on -one. We had Archon, which was like a chess kind of game, but when, the two, but when you take a piece, you don't, you don't take it off the board. The two pieces then, then go into a battlefield and you personally have to fight this, this opponent. It, it's, in a way, it's kind of like battle chess, but without graphics and you actually control your 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 uh your piece which is nice just not when you're going up against a monster that has lightning fast laser beams which some of the monsters do the unicorn and the basilisk those those are killers <laughs> they will wreck your shit so it looks fantasy-esque yes there is also pinball construction set Yes, you build, build pinball games. You can build your own your own eight bit pinball game. Then there's two titles by someone who is now no longer with us. Um, this person uh, eventually died of lung cancer back in 1997. Um, Mule, Mule was a it, it was a game with with the with the dynamics of Monopoly in mind. Where you and three other players, either con either computer controlled or player controlled, you settle on a uh, on some kind of uh, desert frontier planet, and you only have a general store. You have to you have to continue to build property and and mine, or farm or gather energy and then sell to this general store. And if you have if you have a uh, if you have ore from uh, from your mining outfits, you can sell to the general store. They can use it to buy to to build some more mules, to where you can then outfit more uh, more farming utilities, more energy collecting utilities, more mining, that kind of thing. It, it's it's essentially trading, building, and manipulating the other players and manipulating the the market. That's one game that this person made, uh, whose name is Dan Budden, by the way. Dan Budden, who eventually uh, got a sex change and became Danny Barry. And Will Wright even dedicated The Sims to her memory. But that was one game. Uh, this, the other game is called Seven Cities of Gold. And it's exactly as it sounds. You are a Spanish explorer set to go to the new world and bring back gold for your king. Yes. Be a conquistador. Kick all the Indians' asses. <laughs> uh, kick ass, take names, or do business. You can trade goods. But if you come across a gold mine, you totally loot that shit. But yeah, that, that exists. Uh, next page. Yeah, there's there's an ad for for that for the, such a game. Hi, we're from Europe. Where's the gold? <laughs> no so, being around the bush with this game. If Columbus had landed in New Jersey. <laughs> Christmas carols for the Commodore 64 for only fifteen ninety five. 
Oh. Whoa. Oh my God. There's full front. There's full page ads for copy programs. You were about to say full frontal, weren't you? Full frontal. <laughs> I was about to say front page, but close enough. <laughs> but holy shit, piracy is was mainstream back in the day. You could actually sell this in in mainstream magazines. You could sell programs that are meant to defeat copy protection. <laughs> because people didn't understand. Because that's because companies before didn't understand destroying copy protection was happening or something like that a full page ad for Commodore 64 hackers only of course hacker meant something else back in the day it's just simply to build programs now it means something else altogether it means breaking malicious programs that eat or getting into places you're not supposed to be and here's a four page ad it's here Color! Yes. Back in the day when color was a big ass deal. A color printer. And it was a third party printer too. <laughs> Introducing Okimate 10, the first personal color printer under $250. Five dollars says you can't beat Grid Runner. I'm, I'm like, fuck you. I beat Space Invaders. What Grid Runner? Grid Runner was a, it's a centipede clone, that was made by Jeff Minter. In fact, you can buy the latest version of this game on Steam for about fifteen bucks. It's called uh, Grid Runner Revolution, I think. This guy was also responsible for Attack of the Mutant Camels and Tempest 2000 for the Jaguar. A full he tells two, the... Here's a full two, full two page ad. Can a computer make you cry? And it's an introduction. No. And it's an introduction to the programmers of EA at the time. Back when EA gave a shit. This guy in the middle that looks like Judd Nelson, that's the tr that's the transsexual I told you about earlier. <laughs> this was before he went through the change. And it happened just after he was rejected by EA to make a mule uh, port to the Sega Genesis because they wanted him to add grenades and guns to it. Because I think General Chaos was out at the time. And... They wanted that kind of game. And somewhere in there is uh, Bill Budge, the guy behind the pinball construction set. I think this is him in the upper upper left. Hey, Red. Corner. What? I forget. Did we use this for the RPG last uh, la uh, last time? Use what? The Discord, or did we use Mumble? I can't remember. I don't remember. I'm sorry if I'm going on and on and on. Thank you. You you used Mumble before, and probably had your last time. We'll definitely be having to use Mumble this time. I'm pretty sure it's not a good idea to be using Mumble anymore. You mean Discord then? Use Discord. Er, uh, yeah. That's what I meant. But yeah, to answer your question, that's what that avatar was all about. I, I'm sorry I got off track. I, I, I reminisce way too much about the old days. It's what I grew up with. It's What's... cool. It's cool. I got my answer at the beginning, so you could ramble on and didn't care. If I feel rambling before you got to the answer, then I would probably be annoyed with you. She does have a point. <laughs> she does have a point indeed. All right, back to driving. We let go.
Why did I make my Vera a uh, black mage instead of an archer? Oh, right, that's right, because her magic is actually strong. I think I'm going to run out of time. Shit. It's, it's amazing how these different places like actual locations across the world and it's like you're bouncing from from the Grand Canyon to Peru to Las Vegas. Time over. 